Hey, 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 what's up? It's your girl, Mimi Mija. So, today, this video is going to be... I actually wrote video ideas down. So, um, this video is going to be about, I guess you can say, story time. Based on how I became bisexual so in my younger days like yeah. making out with females like uh, I moved to Okay, so I was playing softball. Uh, yeah, this was the year when I was playing softball. Ew. So I don't remember, but it was like younger days. Because 2000. I was living in Oklahoma. So, nine, probably ten, maybe eight years old. Don't. No, probably nine or ten. But I was playing, I was playing softball. And I guess you can can't say I was bisexual then in my younger days due to to me if how I reflect back onto it was pretty much experimental like I was gonna grow out of it like it wasn't gonna stick mm -hmm. so anyway 2000 moved to Oklahoma uh, and I want to say damn I can't even remember that either So let's see, sand dollars, sand dollars, Ashley Park, alright so the year when I lived in Wood Creek Apartments in Oklahoma, uh, I guess you can say 2004. Hey, 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 do not 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 can you go play? <laughs> Goofy. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Can you go play and eat your Skittles before I eat them up? Do you want to watch Moana, Trolls, Big Boss Baby? Troll, Big Boss Baby! Which one you want to watch? Boss Baby. Boss Baby? Okay, then you're going to go away and leave me alone? Thank you. Boss baby. Boss baby. Alright. You sure you want to watch Boss Baby? Mm -hmm. Okay. Unfortunately... Huh. 
Netflix. You want to watch Trolls? You want Mickey Mouse Christmas? Excuse me. Sorry. I am right now babysitting my nephew, so, um, yeah. Oh, and just to let everybody know, I record on my phone or my tablet. So, um, yeah, how people edit on computers and cut stuff out. And do the intros and outros. Yeah. That's not me. Alright, baby. It's on. Okay? Can I have some Skittles? You don't want more. Yeah, can I have some Skittles? Oh. Oh. Can I have more than one? Let me see the bag. There you go. So on to my thing. Hmm. I don't know when I got with that fool because he graduated two thousand and four. But I know. I was with this guy, not gonna say no name. Don't know if I said names in previous videos, but yeah. So I'm not gonna say no name, but I was with this fool. Dated him while we was in high school, East Central. Yeah. And. Thank you. Oh, boo. So, Sorry, like I'm really trying to think right now. Okay, so I got with this fool. He graduated in 2004. Um, but everybody know how relationships um, in the beginning is all cool and stuff. And then everything starts to reveal so um there's a whole bunch i'm gonna leave out because it's really nobody's business but he was a cheater he was verbally mental mentally and physically abusive um we got into 
a few altercations where um, it led to us fighting. But, um, yeah, so the time I was living in would create, um, we were in the living room, we were arguing. And I felt like he was going to put his hands on me. So I, when I was sitting on the couch and stuff, when we was arguing and stuff, like he was just pacing, like just back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I told him flat out my exact words. If you put your motherfucking hands on me, we're going to have issues. But that's the last time you're going to put your hands on me. And that's the last time I will be with you or any guy. And I will mess with females. So, he kept pacing in front of me for like three or four times. Then decided to choke me out while I was sitting on the couch. So, it went from fighting into the living room. We was living upstairs too. So, it was a complex with four. So, two bottoms, two upstairs. So, he was living upstairs. It went from the living room to the balcony where he tried to flip me over the balcony. But, um, yeah, after that, like, I continued, like, we was on and off, on and off, on and off, but... That's when Black Planet, the website, was live, active, and stuff. So, I hey, was hey, on. Hey, no, 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 no. <laughs> Say, hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. No, no. Say, this your girl? This your girl. Mimi Mija? Mimi Ninja. Mija? Ninja. Good job. <laughs> So that is my three-year-old, soon to be four-year-old this year, nephew. Thank you. Titi's eyes hurt. I can't wear that right now. Um, so, what was I saying? Because he just like, made me lose train of thought. Um, 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 um. Oh, so that's when Black Planet was alive. And I... Started to talk to females on there. And it was never really nothing serious because these females was out of state. So, yeah. So then from Wood Creek, we moved to these houses. When I say we, I mean my dad. And at that time, she was my stepmom. Yeah, I had my own room there. Okay. So, from the house, it was right across the street from the high school, Nathan Hill. And that it, that is when it happened. I met a girl on Black Planet. She was living in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Um, we made out, and the funny thing about it, cause like, I'm not scared to do anything, like I'm down with, <laughs> but um, yeah, like she was just all, like, she was just on the phone, just talking and talking and talking, like she was with it, so I was like, alright, well if we meet up and stuff happen, then it happens, but we're going to see if you're with it. So, turn around. That day came where we ended up hanging out. Yeah, we made out and stuff like that, but, like, it was just an awkward moment. And so, like, I called her out, and then that's the only reason why it happened, because I called her out on it. 
but uh like after that it was just a like it was still awkward and then after it happened it was just like no okay let me take it back so there's this girl named Jay she was white uh, met her on Yahoo Messenger. That's when Yahoo Messenger was live and lit. Like, I could say she was white. Her name's Jay because, um, I don't recall where the hell she lived or anything like that. But we started talking off of Yahoo Messenger and then we was always video chatting on Yahoo Messenger and stuff. Webcam, webcam, texting, talking off phone. So, uh, Jay was my first girlfriend. We made plans that we was going to see each other, but yeah, it didn't happen that way. So, when I was on Black Planet, Papa Boogie. <laughs> I met this girl. And then, that's the girl we, I was just talking about when I was like, before I was talking about Jay. So, so with this girl, um, yeah, after it happened, after it happened, oh, sorry, I didn't know. So after it happened, I don't know, I just felt disgusted. So I think I wasn't into it. But my mind was. Which was kind of weird. Because even after I broke up with this girl and didn't want to talk to her no more and told her the reason why. So... She understand. Where's Elmo? What? Get your Elmo. It's my bed. You better the bike. Okay, whatever. So she went on about her biz. I went on about mine, but I don't know if it was just her, or if it was just, like, I honestly don't know, because I was still talking to females, and then dating females after her. What are you doing? Oh no. Go play. Take Elmo. Oh, Elmo. Elmo loves to sing. Let's sing. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Why not? Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Oh, okay, Elmo can sit on your couch. No, you can go couch. So, what are you doing? Go lay down. I think she was the only female I messed with in Oklahoma. Like, thank you for singing with Emma. Making out wise. So. 2006, came back to her again. Go play. Go play! You're the bad person. Okay, go play. Go play. Uh, 
Go potty. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Come here. And zip, 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 zip. Hold on, his little musical thing went off to tell him to go potty. So give me a second. All right, take your candy and go potty. Go, 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 go. Pick up your candy. Here. One second. There, put your candy in this. You pick up all your candy? I seen candy on the ground right there. Purple right there by your knee. Okay. Yeah. Hurry up. Go to the bathroom. Go potty. Turn the light on. Okay. So. Um, what was I saying? Excuse me. Okay. Anyway. So. I moved back here in 2006. I was talking to females. I got with this female in Michigan. Then we ended up, I broke up with her. But, funny story, she became my best friend. Anyway, met another female. She lived in New York. Um, we dated. And then, broke up. Uh, met another female, lived in North Carolina, we dated, and she ended up coming down to Oregon where she lived with me and my family. And I was in high school. I was supposed to graduate 2006, but didn't, so I graduated 2008. But, anyway, so, like, um, it wasn't working with us, so, then I caught her cheating, and turned around, when I left her, and that girl left her, me and that girl she cheated on me for, ended up, started dating, then, I met, few females down here where I wanted to try with them but for some reason they was more of a pleasure to like give than more than receive so um yeah that didn't happen so I got with this girl um don't remember what year not even gonna say her name, but she's a cheater too. But um, she was also a giver and not a receiver. So we ended up getting high one time and got I got wasted, like hella wasted. Me and her both took a shower, and then started getting intimate in the bathroom. And, yeah, when we got to the bedroom, that was the first time it went down. That the whole give and receiving thing to between us. But all these females I had interact with. was more of they gave and not received and after that guy that fool in 2004 I believe I broke up with him the day before his mom's birthday or on the day of his mom's birthday in 2005 
So, um, yeah, um, so like, there's this one girl, I don't remember her name, don't remember where we met, I think off of a chat line, I think. I don't remember but anyway like we like we did stuff but it wasn't like me okay it wasn't like me going down on her but we did stuff and yeah so, like, the first time was with this girl I was with. She was back and forth between me and this other girl. But anyway, the fool I was with, I was just like, hell with guys, don't want to deal with them no more. And then started dealing with females. And I wasn't finding guys attractive like that. But I was, I found girls attractive. So, anyway, um, yeah, we broke up, I dated another female, but me and this female had a talk, so she said I need to actually have time to myself to think, to actually see if I want her or if I still wanted to work with my ex. So, went home, like, from leaving her place and getting on the bus, the bus ride home, walking home, get home. And I don't know if it was that night or the next day, but I texted her and told her I still wanted to be with that ex-girlfriend. Like, I'm only calling her ex-girlfriend because she's my ex-girlfriend now. But... I didn't need to make it work with the ex-girlfriend. So, she got mad and, yeah, which I don't see why she got mad when she's the one who told me that, but whatever. That's besides the point. So, out of the females I dated, or, yeah, the females I dated, that female was the first I did something with. But, um... Like, my ex, who's my best friend, I always tell her stuff. So, a lot of people started saying, oh, I'm lesbian, but, like, I was never into the whole label thing. Like, bisexual, lesbian, by curious, anything like that. I wasn't into the whole label, so even when females were calling me lesbian and stuff like that. So, I got comfortable with it and then when I was on websites, I was lesbian this, lesbian that. So, it turned around I end up uh, 2011. Uh, oh, I think I was messing with females. And I was hurt by this female. And like we were talking and stuff. And then she was an ex, but yeah. We, <laughs> we was talking and stuff, and she just pissed me off and stuff, and one thing led to another. Me and this guy had sex, and after that, 
I felt disgusted as hell. Like the first time me and this me and this girl in Oklahoma. Like I like how I felt that time, I felt disgusted as hell. So I called my best friend, I was freaking out, and she's like, Mimi, you're not anything. Like, she was just making it, just trying to calm me down and stuff. And she was like, you're a lesbian. Um, like, I get that it happened, but if you're feeling the way you're feeling, then, yeah. So, she was like, but if it happened again, that is something to be questioning. And, turn around. It happened again. But, I don't know if it was just that one time that I was just feeling disgusted or something, but... So, uh, I had, like, coming out the closet, it, I wasn't coming out the closet. Like, it was nobody's business. So, if they wanted to label me lesbian, bisexual, whatever, I really just didn't care because I just don't care. So, like, it was never me coming out to my mom, hey mom, I'm bisexual or lesbian or anything like that. And I wasn't worrying about getting judged by anybody anyway, so really didn't care. But um, my little sister actually came out to my dad on the phone and was like, Dad, did you know your daughter was my government name? But I'm not going to say that. But she was like, Dad, did you know your daughter... Um, I don't remember if she said gay or lesbian or something, but she was just like, Dad, did you know your daughter is yada, yada, yada? And like, that was just funny because like, a lot of people say their parents are so judgmental, their parents will um, disown them and stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, well, let's see. Uh how it would be, but, like, it was never nobody's plan to be like, oh, let's go tell dad, or let's go tell mom, or let's go tell grams, or anything like that. So, she just said it to be funny and stuff like that, and it was, it was funny, because he wasn't mad, he wasn't, he was just like, oh, okay. If that's what she choose, and <laughs> yada, 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 but, so, it was, it was cool. Like, I love my dad. He's not judgmental. He does push, though. But not judgmental. He's always there. So, um... I don't think I ever came up to my mom and was like, Hey! Or anything like that. I don't think I ever came out to any family. Like, if I was with the person, dating them, intimate with them... Having pictures with them, it was on social media. So, like, hey, my family didn't say shit. <laughs> Which is kind of cool to have a family like that. To not say shit. Not to be negative about it. But then again, they didn't have anything positive to say. So, it was just, like, neutral. It was my life. It was me doing what I wanted to do. As long as I was happy, they were happy. So, yeah. Uh, so, I dated this guy, so the fool I was with, 2004, that was my first fiance, male-wise. Then, the female who came lived with me and my family, that was my first female fiance and then I dated this guy 2010 broke up 2013 or 
So, anyway, yeah. But, whatever. Um... Yeah, so broke up, and then after that breakup, I was talking to females, but it wasn't really anything like super serious, like intimate wise, because it was all out of state again. And then I was also messing with a few guys, and it was like one night stand type things. Because my head was all jacked up from the domestic violence situation, relationship. But did meet this one guy. And yeah, we been on and off. Break up, make up, break up, make up. But um, uh, till the third day, I don't do the whole labels I'm me I date guys I date girls so if y'all want to call me like curious bisexual lesbian gay dyke whatever go ahead call me whatever the hell you want but yes it is on social media bisexual because a lot of people, um, I just get annoyed with it, where, I mean, like, yeah, it's my life, I do what I want, so, um, or if there's females that try to hit on me, if they're lesbian, gay, or whatever, and they'll be like, oh, um, uh, I can turn you this way, or you'll be happier with a female, yada, yada. No, I'll be happy with who the hell I want to be happy with. So, on social media, yeah, it does say bisexual. But, that is my story of, yeah. I don't know what to label this, but <laughs> I guess I'm going to title story time of becoming bisexual, I guess. So, um, that is it for now. I will have more videos to come. Till then, I really don't care if you like <laughs> my videos, but if you want to put feedback, go ahead and comment. Uh, I would appreciate it if you subscribe though. So, yeah, you can like thumbs up, thumbs down, really don't care. It's not going to face me, but no type of negative feedback, bullying, any type of that, like that. I just want positive feedbacks only. Positive, 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 positive vibes. So, um, yeah. Share my video and subscribe to me. Until then, peace.